Il est enfin parmi nous. If you're a fan of Broadway, you've probably caught Morgan James in shows like The Addams Family, Motown, and Godspell. She is a powerhouse performer known for her gender-defying performances, and she is at it again with an all-new, all-female cast recording of Jesus Christ Superstar. Every time I look at you, I don't understand why you let the things you did get so out of hand. Morgan, do you want to talk about a perfect setting to talk about your latest project? I think you nailed it. Where are we right now? We are in the Cathedral of St. John the Divine, and we're in one of the chapels, and this features a piece of art called Christa, which is a female Christ. And it was brought in here in 1975 to great controversy, and that really brings us to my project. <laughs> which is... Jesus Christ Superstar, this new cast recording that you have reimagined with all women. All women in the cast, all women in the orchestra, all women behind the scenes, everything. So who voices Jesus? That's me. Who voices Judas? Shoshana Bean. Who voices Mary Magdalene? Cynthia Erivo. And do you, I mean, do you want to keep <laughs> name dropping? I feel like you have every single female powerhouse. Bridget Everett, Orfe, um, Debbie Gravitt. It's an all-star cast of incredible women and all superstars in their own right. And uh, it was really, it was truly a dream um, that came to reality. Because this idea actually came to you in a dream. Yes, it came to me in a dream and I mentioned it to some friends. And they said, you have to make that a reality. Um, I called Shoshana, she said yes. And once the yeses started coming in, we just, um, we went forward and, and I knew that this was going to be something that could be a brand new version for a new generation of musical theater fans. I wanted to do it because I love the score. Um, I love the show. I love everything that comes with it, the love and the controversy. I love women coming together. And, um, and I love a challenge. <laughs> And Morgan, just when I thought this day couldn't get any better, you have brought me about a block away. We're on Amsterdam and 111, and we are at? The Hungarian Pastry Shop. It's a New York institution. I had, I've never been here before. Oh, you haven't? No, no, tell me about it. Oh my gosh, well, the, everything on the table they make in-house. Um, this place opened in 1961, and people come here to read and write and be inspired, and it's right by Columbia, it's right by Cathedral St. John the Divine, and um, it's just one of those amazing places. I love spots like this because if you were just walking by it, and let's just say there wasn't a crowd, you probably wouldn't look twice. You would never know. But you step in and it's magical. Yeah. Even yeah. just the posters that they have along I the know, wall. I know. They have all of the, the book covers of the books that, that were written here. Yep. Yep. And they have art that was inspired by this place. And, um, you know, I just, we're losing so many mom and pop places in New York and all over the country. And I love patronizing mom and pops. Can we just say, like, cheers to an incredible day? Oh, this is amazing.